All right, so uh, this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and as well a, a Cancer Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading March 23rd to March 29th, 2020. <clears throat> and uh, in case any of you guys is uh, interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a, a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such. So that being said, moving to the uh, reading straight away. Now the first card, which represents the topic of your week, uh, that is to be the Two of Swords. Moving next, uh, we do have the challenge, the energies, excuse me, which are is uh, which are supporting the topic itself. That will be the energies of the Eight of Swords. Moving next, we do have the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the week. That is to be uh, the King of Pentacles. Furthermore, we do have the uh, gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week. That is to be the moon card. Followed by uh, the impression that you make into the people around. That is to be the impression of the four of swords. And the last one for you, Cancer, which represents the guidance that uh, Taro is offering. That is to be the six of wands. Okay. Uh, quite interesting one. So... Um, where do I even start with? Well, okay, so let's uh, let's start with the first couple of cards. So we do have these two, okay? Uh, the energy-wise here, uh, you are gonna start feeling that things are very wrong. I mean, with a certain with a certain things into your life, you are gonna start sensing that things are not going as they should go, or it's just sensing that there is something wrong with it. Just to give you an example, someone is very kind and um, uh, say a very how can I say it uh, uh, predispose you over certain things. You are gonna start sensing that there is something behind it. I mean that 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 person is not entirely sincere. That it it has something surreptitious behind their actions. Same thing goes for many other endeavors. I mean it could play out in many different ways. This is because with those energies here, slowly but surely your eyes for the true conditions and not just only for the true conditions but for the uh, reason the true reason why certain things are happening into your life are going to be open your eyes are yet to open and uh, that will lead you to the subject of the reading itself which is two of swords and uh, with the two of swords you are going to slow the pace in the sense of that uh, you are not going to be so active that more in term of either career or in term of either relationship that is because a, a different point of view is going to start emerge uh, or is, is going to start emerging uh, within your sight or within your vision <clears throat> what those two cards here are pointing it is that while beforehand you were very excited and completely sure that something is going to work out now you are not going to be entirely sure that you want that thing to work out okay so it's the question is not is it going to work out or not but it is going to be do you want it to work out or you are to realize that it's it's not your thing basically that you are more like shooting yourself in the foot rather than propelling yourself forward in development either career wise or either relationship wise and this week itself is going to be more for you a uh, cancer a week where you maintain equilibrium rather than adding stuff okay on your platter or on your plate or into your life in general uh, if I have to give you an example, because definitely it's going to be related with someone that is uh, through the challenges. We do have a king of pentacles here. That is someone who is tempting you. OK, it's kind of like uh, promising you stuff, not necessarily in a bad way. What I mean is that what they intend to do, they are going to do it. OK, what they are telling you, I mean that they are going to do it. But the thing is, how good that is for you, because uh, with uh, those first card cards, excuse me, throughout this week, you are going to start understanding that it is not as good for your life as you thought that is going to be. So um, that being said, 
like I said before, you're going to slow down your pace in terms of career, in terms of relationship and in terms of life in general. So you can um, kind of like analyze every point of view. That's uh, that's the whole point that before you decide how to proceed forward with that situation itself, you, sh you are to start considering all points of view, all of the variations that that enterprise or for example a relationship it could be an enterprise within a relationship okay or a project or an idea is going to have an effect over your life because once again a a different and uh, new circumstances are to be uh addressed kind of like it's more like addressing the elephant in the room all right and uh many of you will decide that it's, it's not worth it really it's it's kind of like it's something that ultimately you can live without and more over that it is that ultimately it will be <clears throat> i'm sorry it will be more of a hustle than a benefit that you are going to reap at the end of the day so uh with the first couple of cards i love that uh, sentence here that goes with the eight of swords which says that if the truth makes you free, then what the denial of it makes you. And here it is where the denial is going to be no longer. Um, if I have to give you another example, you kind of like have a crush over someone. You up until this moment denied that that person is a, for example, jerk or it is not a good person in general. But now your eyes are yet to open for it. And you may start thinking you are to start thinking do I really want to be with such a, uh, a, um, a nasty person, for example? Do I really want to jump into this project that ultimately at the end of the day ain't going to give me as much as I deserve, right? So it's like, um, it's like wake up, it's like awakening, no wake up call, but more like a awakening, overcoming the first um, excitement of that you are doing that endeavor and then seeing you know the negative stuff of it as well and after that scoping are the negatives the negative traits in it bigger than the positive traits and for every single one of you is going to be different all right but the thing is that uh, with the challenges we do have a person that is involved in the same thing here which is the king of pentacles who is trying to push you into investing into it okay investing into that person itself it could be a, a business partner it could be a, a a person who is a suitor of yours and they want to be in a relationship with you and now as they are seeing you being hesitant to do it unlike beforehand where you were excited to do it but now you see the true the true nature of this one okay you see that they are not as good as you thought they are at the start and they are seeing your hesitation. They are kind of like trying to push you even further into a, a their own direction here. And that is a, something that you need to resist. I mean, at the end of the day, you may decide to go into business venture with this one. You know, you may decide to be in a relationship with this one or to make up with this one. It doesn't matter. The thing is that whatever decision you are to, to make, it should be your personal decision rather than to be influenced by the fairy tales and by the sweet talks of the king of pentacles and above everything else they are to tempt you with promises of benefits moving forward you know for example if you stay with me i'm going to change i'm going to invest into our relationship i'm going to invest into our marriage it and that's true all right they they really mean it that they are going to invest but the thing is are they uh, are they have what you need i mean can they invest what you want them to invest because especially into uh relationships not everybody has what everybody needs and it all comes to that what do you need and can that person offer it to you uh not to mention that in relationships with the king of pentacles into this position it could be purely a manipulation you know it's like uh uh, from from that standpoint that they uh, may say to you how can you do this um, I, I did so much for you I sacrificed so much for you and these kind of stuff so it's it's more like a manipulation making you feel guilty that you have taken advantage of them and now you are throwing them away and it will be challenging to 
not to budge on to that uh, manipulation, you know, to give yourself to that manipulation, but instead go with your logic, with your guts, with what you analyze, you know, things that you don't like, well, your eyes should be open for it and you definitely should not experience them any longer. Uh, moving next, uh, we do have uh, the gifts and the blessings and that is one of the most wonderful gifts and the blessings, guys. Uh, moon card, it does point that your circumstances are arranging. That is the gift and the blessing of the moon card. That everything that is supposed to happen is going to happen one way or another. And that's why you are seeing stuff into your business or into your relationship that you have not saw before. That's why you are um, kind of like anticipating things that you could not anticipate before because you, you do not have your eyes opened for those traits that you are to have right now throughout this week, uh, um, March 23rd to March 29th, 2020. Another blessing with the moon card, it is that you are set off in a path here that we do have, which is exactly yours to walk. And uh, you can't deviate from it. I mean, you can postpone the inevitable, but ultimately the inevitable will come. And under inevitable, I don't mean bad things, okay? It could be wonderful things. What I mean is that if uh, you decide here that uh, the negative traits of your partner are more unbearable or they are more than the positive traits and you decide, okay, so that's not for me, I'm going to move forward. That is exactly what sets you off course, okay, or on the right track. If you decide to stay, well, that was the testament that your relationship is going to endure for much longer because you passed the test, the relationship passed the test of positive that the relationship gives you against negative than the relationship gives you. What I'm trying to say with the gifts of, and the blessings, it is that whomever of you, Cancer, was delusional up until this point and have been in a denial that the things are not working out, they will no longer be in a denial because the moon card uh, in the gifts and blessings, at first it does uh, make circumstances which uh, are kind of being hidden up until now to act in your favor. And afterwards it does once again sets you on the right track. And if you are not meant for that relationship, for example, you are not going to be into that relationship. And the hints for it are going to start appearing and it's going to become obvious to you throughout this particular week. If you aren't for that job, same thing, you know, things and, and kind of like clues that you aren't for that job are going to appear right now for you. But if you are for the job, same thing, clues are going to start appearing and it's going to become obvious for you throughout this week. So uh, what I can give you here as an advice and guidance is that despite what whatever person tells you, you should not kind of like allow yourself to be swiped with what people tells you, but instead look and uh, look to the signs that are to appear around you and follow those signs. Uh, moving next is um, what kind of impression you're going to leave into the people around. And we do have the four of swords. So people are going to see you seriously considering. That is uh, the trait of the four of swords when uh, as a uh, outside look of the people towards you okay it's like seriously deliberating what to do from now on what kind of strategies uh, to incorporate within your life that that's in general you know not just only for career and relationship but in general in life and uh, people are going to see you a bit closed as well in the sense of that you are secluding yourself but that is just for for that reason not to allow anybody to uh, sway your opinion and your emotional state that is very important your emotional state in one or another direction because at the end of the day whatever you are to decide here with the two of swords um, it should be entirely based on your genuine um, genuine feelings and opinion as well and not the uh, the uh, implemented feelings and opinions that someone else is going to place within you by giving you uh, arguments and advices that you don't need at that particular point and um, ultimately at the end the four of swords points that people are gonna uh, look at you as a, someone who is trying to find themselves within the uh, for example the uh, the havoc of emotions that the situation gives you 
Okay, because you may love somebody, but if that person makes you feel bad, that is a havoc of emotions. You know, you love them and hate them ultimately. And this week it is the week where you decide, is it really worth being with a person you love if they constantly make you cry? Right. So that, that is something that you have to decide throughout the week. Uh, one more thing, if, if the decision is very tough. OK, and that is like a, a jail free card. That uh, if you postpone as much as you can, ultimately at the end of the day, the obvious choice, uh, uh, the right decision for you is going to become obvious. What I mean, it is that if you do not decide straight away in that particular example, someone that you love makes you cry constantly. OK, at some point you're going to have enough of it. And uh, probably, you know, or that person is going to change. I mean, it's not going to be like that forever. This is what I'm trying to say here. And ultimately, at the end of the day, if you don't make the decision, the decision is going to be made for you. So for those who are standing in front of very tough decision making here, hands down, it's not going to be as tough as you think that is going to be, because ultimately, once again, it will be made for you and it's going to be made for you in the right way. <clears throat> and the last one, uh, but then, I'm sorry, you are going to have that feeling of, lo of, of uh, loss, that you have lost something and not particularly a person or a, uh, a subject, but you have lost the, um, the uh, natural rights of free will. And the last one here, it is the guidance that Tara is offering to you. That is the Six of Wands Cancer and... Uh, that card simply points that you need to demand appreciation or you need to demand the uh, the recognition, the appreciation and the rewards that you deserve career wise and relationship wise. And the card also points that your journey haven't uh, it's not at its end romantically or uh, professionally either. I mean, right now it is the moment where you excel. But that ex acceleration happens only on established patterns, on things that you have achieved up until now. And uh, that being said, you have to draw from your uh, previous experience and once again from previous achievements and be proud of them. That's the whole point here. You should not allow anybody to diminish the positive aspects and the positive circumstances that your previous work, your previous accomplishments, and previous achievements have contributed for your life and for the world as well. In other words, you should not allow anybody to tell you how bad you are because you aren't. Okay. You should not allow anybody to tell you how unfair you are because you aren't. And if someone tries to exploit your emotional state, well, that is a clear sign that that person does not have a place around you. You, you do not get any clear, clear sign than that with the two of swords and the king of pentacles in such presented position. That is your uh, awakening here. This is where your eyes are to be opened. So that being said, Cancer, uh, this was your weekly general tarot reading, March uh, 23rd to March 29th, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh once again, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase a reading. And upon purchasing within the next 24 hours, I'm going to contact you uh, via email, giving you uh, details how your reading is going to take place. Um, you stay safe now and hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.